Locker Room on News 3. Hello and welcome inside our award-winning locker room show sponsored by your Hampton Roads Chevy dealers. I'm Megan Plain. Adam Winkler has the night off. Now, I don't know about you, but I am real excited because we are less than 48 hours away from the Chiefs and Buccaneers battling it out in Super Bowl 55, a game that's going to air live right here on News 3. When Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady go head-to-head, -head, it marks the first matchup in Super Bowl history that features the starting quarterbacks who won the two most recent Super Bowls. Now, one of the big questions come Sunday is, if Mahomes beats Brady, does he put himself in a position to take Brady's throne when their careers are all said and done? We don't look that far ahead. I, I, I'm focused on this game right now, uh, trying to win this second Super Bowl and be able to hold that Lombardi trophy and have that second ring. Um, but uh, if I'm at the end of my career and I have a lot of Super Bowl rings in my hand, I'll be happy. If Mahomes beats Brady on Sunday, Kansas City becomes the first team to repeat as Super Bowl champs since the 2003-2004 Patriots and none other than Tom Brady. Now, while we're on the topic of greatest of all time, with the help of a GOAT, we're going to get a prediction as to which GOAT will be winning this weekend. Let's see, who's our friend going to choose? It's going to be Patrick Mahomes. I don't know about you, but I'm leaning towards Tom Brady in this one because he's already proven to himself that he can win with his six Super Bowl rings. Now, each quarterback has a litany of offensive weapons, and this season we saw both teams average right around 30 points per game. All those offensive weapons don't just come out of the blue. Scouts spend a lot of time building these teams, including Norfolk State product and Buck Scout Donovan Cotton, who illustrates that if you are not a fan of reading, it might be time to reevaluate some things because a book could lead you to a career that's just as cool as working in the NFL. I never knew anyone who actually scouted, but I read a book. You know, it was a book called The Draft at the time. Um, it, I believe my sophomore year in college, and and it really detailed a full year of a scout's life and a journey. And, and, and you know, after I read that book, there was no doubt in my mind that's exactly what I want to do. You know, just evaluating players, learning how they tick, and being a part of a staff that ultimately puts a team together. Cotton has an unbelievable story about just how hard it was for him to break into the NFL. That is a story I'm going to share with you tomorrow night during our Super Bowl Eve special, which airs live right here at 7.30 p.m. Sports director Adam Winkler and I will share interviews, insights, and local angles that you are not going to see anywhere else. Now, Cotton is not the only Spartan hoping to win a title this weekend. As part of the NFL's HBCU initiative, the league is hosting an eSports Madden HBCU tournament, and it could be an NSU student who is victorious. Since Christopher Goodman was a kid, football's been part of his life. But nowadays, he takes his football talent to the virtual playing field. My name is Chris Goodman, aka VA Assassin, representing the MEAC and the illustrious Norfolk State University. The Virginia Beach native joins 15 other HBCU gamers playing in the NFL's inaugural Madden HBCU Tournament Finals, where there's thousands of dollars on the line. Goodman, who's representing the Spartans, is confident he has what it takes to be crowned champion. Definitely feel prepared that I definitely can make a, a run for it. And he's got plenty of winning experience to back that confidence up. I even got a belt right here to prove it that I won. So it's definitely been a dream come true to be like a pro gamer. Goodman has been playing video games since he was a kid, but it wasn't until his high school days at Lanstown when he made the jump to the esports world. I was on the football team in high school, so it was kind of hard to balance sports and play video games competitively too. I had the opportunity to go to like a, a Final Four and a championship. I had a football scrimmage the same, the same day, so I couldn't go to the tournament because I had to go to the football scrimmage instead. And I missed out on a great opportunity. Goodman no longer has to give up esports opportunities, the latest being the NFL's Madden HBCU Tournament Finals on Saturday, where he has the chance to not only pick up a victory for himself, but Norfolk State as well. It was amazing to be, to be honest with you. I never thought I'd actually get a chance to actually represent my school and to be able to bring a championship. I have the opportunity to bring a championship to my life. It definitely meant the world to me, so I'm definitely excited and make a name for myself. He makes a name for himself on the virtual stage, but that love for football goes way back to before he ever picked up a controller. Now, I don't know about you, Kurt. I disagree with the GOAT. I think Tom Brady's going to win. What about you? Who do you got in this game? Uh, I, I, I think I'm going with Mahomes. Mahomes. Uh, but it is, you're right. It is interesting that the GOAT picked the, didn't pick the GOAT. He didn't and pick so, the GOAT. And so, but I, 
I would say Mahomes by um, by a touchdown. You're the probably, Chiefs, you're the probably Chiefs right. by a touchdown. You're probably but we'll right. see. Like Either way, I mean, it's a great <laughs> success story for Brady to say, who needs the Patriots? I'm still going to the Super Bowl. Oh, for sure. It's yeah. such a good story.